Hey everybody, today is Friday, September 3rd, heading into Labor Day weekend, and so we were running some data on AMC just to check out a couple theories we had about the way that options control this stock. And what is so fascinating is this chart that we put on Twitter, and if you open up that chart, we'll just walk everyone through it quickly here. Now, what's so interesting about this, these are the stock returns from 2021. There's no options data in this. This is just looking at how AMC moves. And what you'll notice is that from the cash open, that's 9.30 a.m. Eastern time to 4 p.m. Eastern time, there's actually pretty little movement in AMC. These days returns are pretty tight. However, if you look at the previous close to open range, the movement is much larger. In other words, all of the gains that AMC has made took place overnight. That is from the 4 p.m. close last night to the open today. So there's a lot of volatility overnight in the stock. And then once the cash market opens, right, once the stock market opens in the U.S., suddenly there's very little open to close movement. Now, it's not to say there's not a lot of intraday volatility, because if you look at this column, you can see that the high-low range, so if you take the high of the day and the low of the day in the stock and look at that range, it's very big, right? So the stock tends to move over 10% intraday, but the open and close is very small. So who likes that type of movement? Well, if you're gamma hedging, you love that kind of movement, right? Because movement, right, it allows the opportunity for options hedgers to trade their gamma a lot, right? So if the stock moves up a bunch, they could sell some, stock keeps going up, they sell some more, stock comes back, they buy it back. They love that whippy price action, right? Especially when you know it's just gonna open and close pretty flat to that intraday movement. So that's kind of a, a paradise, so to speak, for options hedgers. Now, when you combine this, you'll also notice something else and that the first three days are very positive and the last two days are pretty negative. And we focus on, lot, on this a lot in other videos where we talk about the options dynamic where traders come in and they buy the nearest expiration. So if it's on Monday, they buy the Friday expiration calls, they try to juice those up and AMC will typically have very positive performance. And then on Thursday and Friday, those calls start to decay and that leads to the stock selling off that's a charm trade we like to call it and you can see that somewhat if you look at the intraday trade here in amc again again you can see there's a huge bar up at 45 we'll show you that in our equity hub data and 40 is big support and there's this big intraday swing right about two dollars in this case it's a big five percent intraday swing we're targeting a very flat day on an open to close basis in amc so this is again a big mean reversion trade right the, the stock gets too high we sell it down we buy it back and we kind of pin a flat day more or less and if you look at our equity hub data you can analyze over 3500 different stocks here but we just pulled up amc you can see that 40 percent of the total gam expires today which means that 40 percent of the total options position essentially expires today that's 93 on the close and the big area is 45 to 40 right so there's a bunch of force that should suppress this thing because there's a lot of calls at 45. There's a lot of force to keep the stock from going over this big 45 level. And as you can see here, we're gonna kind of pin right under that zone. So there's always this talk that there's this agenda to suppress the price of AMC. And the reality of the situation is there's a massive options position in AMC. You can see that here, the total call and put open interest is nearly 3 million contracts. That means that there's a huge amount of hedging flow. You can see the impact of that hedging flow right here in this data. This is the gamma hedging flow that likely keeps the open to close range so tight on the day, the open to close performance. And again, we just feel that the options market just controls this thing. And it's not really some other higher order conspiracy. And if you can sort of accept that as an AMC ape, you can take advantage of that trade, right? You can take advantage of that positive performance on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and know that maybe you want to trim your position on Thursday and Friday. You could take advantage of the position knowing that you are likely to have a big gap up overnight, and then maybe you want to trim some in the morning, right, based on some of this data that you're, you're seeing here. So we hope you found this data and information helpful. If you have any questions, you can hit us up on Twitter, at Spot Gamma. You can also get a free five-day trial of our Equity Hub product by going to subscribe now and then selecting the Spot Gamma Pro service, which again is a risk-free five-day trial.